gold is gold is actually a good like if the banks collapse, money collapse, that's still a good trade. How do you keep your gold? These are questions that boys like, you put it on a ledger. <laughs> Welcome back to another very special episode of the Careful Boys, where we are very careful boys. We got Tesh back. Yeah, Tesh. Yeah. Um, Thanks Tesh. for having me. Always a pleasure. A lot of calamity out there in oh. the financial world, oh, as we know. Oh no, meltdown! Here we go. Going down. Here we a lot go. Of love. A lot of love. <laughs> but That's a new one. I've never seen you the, do. The calamity. <laughs> the bank. All, you know, the banks what? are like, oh, 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 Jesus, right? There's a lot of oopsie doopsies and oofy doofies happening out yeah. there. Do you guys have a plan? Mm. If shit hits the fan, that's a pretty tough question to start the day. I'm, uh, you mean like plan? a doomsday prep like, plan? Yeah. Adult video like, are you ready? Oh yeah, so you I'm going. I'm just gonna fly back to India, Jesus baby. Christ? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna take all my cash, <laughs> aid into the collapse of the banks. Okay. <laughs> Help, helping to feed into the bank run, if you will. Yes, yes, into yes. The bank run. yes. Feed into the panic, and then just go, just go straight to India. It's like seventy-five okay. rupees to a dollar right now, I think. <laughs> But what if you can't even fly there because there's like crazy shit going on right now? Take a boat? We'll take a, long time. We'll take a cruise! <laughs> Do you think you could actually navigate your, in a boat? No fucking way. Me too. No fucking way! <laughs> I'd probably get like one nautical mile and then sink. Do you ever think about <laughs> I'd probably get Life of Pied for yeah. sure. <laughs> Do you ever think, we, we, yeah. we like to shit all over our ancestors a lot, but do you ever think about how much smarter they were than us? Oh, a thousand percent! Yeah, yeah. It's like, man. There's a cruise ship right now, you can pay 30 grand a year, and, and it's like... You have to live on it? Perpetually live on a cruise. Yeah. And it has can everything you, you need. Could you live on a cruise ship? One guy is. How many days until you kill yourself on that cruise? <laughs> Bro, I know, I'm not a cruise guy. Yo, how much, how, much, how much like nacho cheese can you eat out of those dispensers? <laughs> I mean, we're gonna say it's a nice cruise. Much, so it's like real cheese, it's real, real cheese. cheese. Out of dispensers. Hey, what's, what's the uh, disease that pirates get? When scurvy. scurvy. Why do they get scurvy? Uh, well, no, uh, vitamin, vitamin C or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they need the oranges. They need the, yeah. That's why I call them dirty fucking limeys, the Brits. Yeah, because. What about the Australians? They're Australia? the pirates. They were the pirates. But right? they're not they're dirty they're... fucking dirty limey. Like my neighbor, right? He's a he's a limey. limey. <laughs> yeah, because because back during like the piracy days and shit and the naval warfare shit, they would suck on limes. Um, oh yeah. To prevent yeah. scurvy. Yeah. Is that why they the racial word for white people is cracker? Because they all ate cracker on the on the thing. No, I think it's because we really like cracker. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of our food. You know, you know what the real Coffee. meaning is that Why? behind that is? It's actually right. way worse. Is it? Yeah, because it's not. I always thought it was like crackers, like you know. Yeah, because oh, you know really? the the people that came on boats, like that's all they ate. That's what I thought it was. But it's, it's, it's hard cracker. biscuit. Cracker. Yeah, it's actually yeah. that. It's whip, whip cracker. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, wait. Now he no like he. Oh shit! You get the close up on that face. <laughs> Uh, no, I thought it was like a soda, it's a soda cracker. A you eating too I, many limes? I thought it was because we get, dri get dried out in the sun and then like our shoulders crack a little bit. That's what I thought. Oh, no. We I can make it that. <laughs> eczema. <laughs> eczema, yeah, you fucking eczema. But yeah, do, it's really bad. Do you have an actual plan? Does anybody have Absolutely not. What should no. we do? Oh, oh, this guy does. Look at this man. I have a... Um, oh, she does. I have like a bug out bag wherever I'm at. What's in it? Bug out bag? Can, Sounds uh, like a Nickelodeon thing. <laughs> What does it have? Gak and flowing. Yeah. The most Joe thing ever would be like, I don't have it here though. Yeah, <laughs> I have it, but it's it's in the other like, location. Yeah, it's not here, but look, I he's have actually it. left. Wherever I go, storage, it's yeah. wherever. He I left go. to go get it. I have one. Look, the tag is still on it and everything. I love it. You ready to return it? He's like, I gotta go straight back to Walmart. And the funny thing is, Hannah's been like, we should be prepping. Can we not like, Yeah, we can unbox this. So you could get this on Amazon. It's pretty easy. It's already set. And basically, when use our referral link. Thank you. When anything goes down, you just base the the average time you need to survive is like three days. Really? Like if there's a flood, if there's like a, any type of disaster, earthquake, like or whatever, it takes about three days for rescue to get there. Or like if you could survive past those days, you're pretty solid. Uh, three days, no water, you're dead. Yeah, that's that's tough. Especially like in a place like America where like it's not like you know how recently they had all those earthquakes and shit in like Turkey and Syria and all that and like um, They just they they need like help from the world, right? But then like the US has enough Equipment to where like if some area got fucked up you could just yeah you got the FEMAs and shit, you know? He's got that backpack. Yeah, but I got this. How okay, what's in it? Go it? walk us through. Okay. So yeah. what do we got in there? What do we got in there? Yeah. Like all the influencers do. I got fucking tampons, bro. <laughs> 
I got tampons. All right, look at this tampons. Yeah, you gotta put your hand behind it. So that, is that for bloody noses? Bloody noses, rags. Was this designed by you? I got I got body warmers because it gets cold. Huh? Is this like you designed this yourself? No, no. It's it just comes. It just come. It, I just bought it in a set. Did you oh, choose I, the print of the camo print? Yeah, I chose the print. Because yeah. yeah. you could you could either get what kind of options are that? You could get plain. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did it have colors? You know, like pink, blue, hound's purple. tooth, hound's tooth. Yeah, I'm, you know I'm, I mean? yo, hound's tooth. Hounds. What else you got? That's what a good print. <laughs> I got a uh, radio and ba uh, battery and uh, flashlight. Oh, tight. Very yeah. useful tissue. I got. Yeah, you would say that. Emergency blanket, <laughs> emergency straw. Yeah, this one's like uh, food. ER bar, yeah. What's ER bar? I don't know. I don't know. I just said. I just said. Emergency <laughs> reaction bar. Oh. See, he's good. Yeah, it is an emergency. Tools. Trying to get through. Look at that. Wow, there's 2,000 calories. Water. Water. Oh, oh, water. Yeah, water. Bag water. Essential. Like, like a Canadian. Yep. This is legit. Gloves and sewing, and a in a mini tent. Dang, you do have a lot of stuff There's in that bag. Stuff there. You know what? A really lot of useful. stuff did fit in that okay, bag. But now, what uh, would you add? Like, what? But also, what I have guns, so like, if anything really happens, you just, you just steal it. But that's why you got holster. <laughs> so now we know. That's if anyone's know. missing resources during so the uh, bank collapse. <laughs> yeah, when when another bank collapses, Joe's gonna have like a bandolier of just bullets and fucking. He's gonna have a gang go. squad. Yeah, <laughs> a hit squad ready to go. So for financial collapse, I I used to have a, like gold, like I had forty grand worth of just gold, and then I realized I want crypto because it's gonna go harder. So I sold it all, got crypto. And you know, you know the rest of the story. <laughs> the thing about crypto, he is, bought that bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing about crypto is you can't physically hold it, and you can't walk into a bank and physically give it to somebody because they just laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> spit in your face. I found that out way late. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's that. There's, um, well, that's a nice ring. I didn't realize. Oh, oh, this is part of my backup plan, my friend. I sold my. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What's this new ring? I saw my Super Bowl ring, dude. This is my Colts Super Bowl ring, dude. You know, Indianapolis Colts won the Super Bowl. I bought a Super Bowl ring. How many bags Can I see it? Am I allowed to see this? Yeah. Look at this thing. Crazy, right? Yeah. God, the Colts, what yeah. a shitty team. So that? I pick. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> oh, you forgot. No, you. that means you watched this last year. Thank you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, watch, I don't I've never watched show. I li I'm liquidating everything. Gold is, gold is actually a good, like, if the banks collapse, money collapse, that's still a good trade. How do you keep your gold? These are questions I've always, like, you put it on a ledger. <laughs> I sold it. I don't have any gold oh, left. But like, where, where did you, you have it? Yeah, where did you have it? And what? Oh, I have it in, in a safe. Oh, it's like yeah, yeah. Bars? Bars? It's like those little yeah. plates. Oh, Dude. coins and bars. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Do you do you get it like certified before you buy it, or do you? Yeah, I it? buy it from an off like re, like. So the U.S. mints gold coins. Yeah, that are like an ounce. It's all teeth. Yeah. It's only Indian people just go to Jackson Heights and just buy a bunch of rings and necklaces and bangles and wedding rings and nose rings and tikas and all this shit. Yo, but that's smart like, though. When are you getting married so we can like move the gold? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. Dude, Steve's got But that's gold a good on. bug out plan though, because you're just like, okay, I'm going to sell all this stuff and then you can buy your ticket to but India. But that's, that's what they do. And in India, it's like 18 carat, you know, yeah, 24 it's carat. Real, it's yeah, like it's real. They're like, it's, they're like, can I bend this shit with my fake teeth? And I'm running, you know, Whoa. like. You can bend gold, right? Because it's more soft. Yeah. I heard that's like a, like a special ops kind of method too, is they have a Rolex that's not that, you know, it's, it's one of the less flashier types, right? Like a regular... Uh, like a day date. Like a, yeah, like, yeah, like a GMT or something that's just blank. Like a Pepsi. Yeah. Why? Just to have... No, you can sell it for like... Bounce. 8K oh. or something. Oh, to or like survive. depends. It's, yeah, they just can't call the government. Imagine the guy Money melts wise. it and he's like, "Wait, we're supposed to sell it?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh fuck! He oh, melts watch, turns it into a bar, and then brings it to the pawn shop. He's like, "Yes, he's like, what can I get for this?" <laughs> he goes to the pawn shop. He's like, "So I have my melted Rolex." <laughs> <laughs> They're like three dollars. They're like, yes. I got it. I got it. it. Do you actually have a plan for yourself? 
Uh, well, I was thinking about this because Bart actually texted us about this. Yeah. He was like, well, hey, um, I got maybe an idea for the show. And I was like, damn. Of course, he's not here to he's answer. Like, <laughs> I know, exactly. I was like, he well, probably man. had an answer. That's why he goes, well, I can't wait to tell him. Well, he's like, I'll sell my storage containers. So relatable. Everyone at home could do that, too. And then. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by Sunday. Okay, winter's over. It's springtime, baby. And all of the flowers be blooming. But let's say you have a beautiful lawn and you don't even know what to do with it. Well, guess what? Sunday got you covered. Sunday is everything that you need to get the lawn that you dreamed of. This spring, go to GetSunday.com slash off the record and enter your address to get a customized plan created just for your lawn. No trips to the store or hauling heavy bags because they ship straight to your home. Okay, you see this here? Mm -hmm. You put this in here and all you need is a hose to apply on this end. That's it, right where there. the water goes through. Whoosh. You can fertilize your whole lawn in less than the time it takes to watch a full episode of your favorite show. How wonderful. That's fast. And they only use ingredients that you can feel good about. No harsh chemicals, no long waiting periods, or trying to keep your kids and pets off the lawn. Simply apply, let it dry, and you're back to enjoying your yard. Sunday is easy and affordable. Some lawn care services cost more than $1,500 a year, but Sunday's full season plans start just at $109. And Sunday is offering our listeners 20% off. Full season plans start at just $109. And you can get 20% off when you visit GetSunday.com slash off the record at checkout. That's 20% off your custom plan at GetSunday.com dot com slash off the record. Bart, Bart's trying to help <laughs> the everyman. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. No, I, I would say, obviously got to liquidate my cryptos first, so that sucks, but. Did you do that already? No, 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 no. I got mad positions, baby. But. Um, come on, you see this outfit, bro? Yeah, come on, look at me. Come on, dude. Hey, we're on the comeback. Gold's in the outfit. Baby. We are on the comeback. But yeah, I would like I would liquidate my cryptos first, and then obviously like we have a house, I would I would just. Sell it for cash at a drugstore, probably. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, we got a water heater in the basement. Don't worry. We got like, some cash. I got that. a deed. Does anyone want to buy a house? <laughs> you know, I'll walk around the drugstore for a while. Walk around the parking lot is what I would do that's with good. a deed. Yeah, 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 yeah. right. Yeah. Solicit, dude. Oh, that's not no, that. I think it would depend on the type of like fallout. Like, are we talking about like it's like riots everywhere and it's like a real fallout, like zombie land shit, or is it like natural disaster or like? I don't know, cause then you have to be prepped for all that shit. I used to watch Doomsday Preppers. That was one of my favorite shows. I love that show. Yeah. I like that show and I like watching people like build shelters in their backyards on YouTube. Shit cracks me up. Like guys digging holes, digging holes for days. Right <laughs> next to their house. Pouring concrete, yeah. <laughs> they pour concrete into their backyard and fucking fill yeah, it like, up. Just in case your main primary house collapses, there's a house six feet right next to it. Boom. Yeah. Which won't be affected by whatever issue but, your house was affected guys, by. But then these guys, these cats are like, then if there's a power outage, you got like a nuclear situation. It's like, yeah, everyone knows that you have this. Everyone. You told YouTube and it has like 12 million views. And they're gonna come and get you. <laughs> yeah. And you, and you monetize it every three minutes. You're gonna steal all this shit. Yeah, I know. We're gonna build an army and just go get it. <laughs> have you seen the how in classrooms now they made this uh, Bro, that school thing shooter crazy. wall? Um, it, like uh, if there's a school shooter, it like folds into the wall yeah. and you pull it out, oh, so it's like a separate entrance and it's bulletproof. So it's wow. like a right angle, like wall, wall, and then it folds out like this, and it makes another room that you can hide in. Wow, bulletproof wow. room. That's cool. crazy. I love playing defense. <laughs> That's offense. Come on, you got that ring on, bro. You can't win. You got that ring. Defense is the best. That's what Tony Dungy says, dude. He says it wins championships. That's what double team taught us. I think I'd be fucked if something were to go down because I don't have shit. Yeah, not many skills, huh? You might survive. Not many skills. But I think can't really edit videos during the <laughs> during the apocalypse. He's thinking about it. He's like, <laughs> but if it were to happen, um, I have friends, so you know, I could just ask people for help. You freeloader. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's when Is you he find sitting out. next to you? I don't think he's gonna help you. I don't think Joe's gonna help you. He's gonna be like, can I get one tissue? And Joe's gonna be like, nah, man. I jerked off in all of them. Already. Come on, man. Let me get a tissue, dude. He'll be like, here's one. And he'd be like, uh, realistically, I would probably try to uh, find ways to help people if they were 
were willing to like give me whatever. Be a part of a yeah. Uh, be a uh, part yeah. of a community. Oh, or make whatever. a like a resistance. Yeah, like I don't have any money to offer because like money is probably not worth anything anymore. But you That's could offer your time. He's that mouth the first. first. <laughs> He's gonna be the first tax deductible charity post the apocalypse. Guaranteed. <laughs> Guaranteed. Donate to this board. I have nothing to offer but time and ass. Dude. <laughs> time and ass. Dude, he's a guy, he's a guy that I he's a guy that I find when I play pirate game and he's being nice and I'm like, oh this is gonna be fun. Oh, oh no. no. He's gonna tie you to the mask, he's gonna force feed you oranges and limes. I he's voted, like, you got scurvy bitch. Yeah, I, I vote him into jail immediately. <laughs> Throw him and in then the I start rig. playing the fucking uh, like the fucking ukulele around. Him. Like while I'm hopping around, <laughs> yeah, he's stealing things out of his cabinets in his home. <laughs> I feel like um, Nevada is gonna be like Mad Max, and I feel like Silicon Valley is gonna be like this crazy future utopia with the mad wall, and everyone inside is like, like, like super like organized and clean and like intelligent. But then, like, they're like something odd about this city. Yeah. And you think that's that's gonna be Vegas, uh, Nevada? They eat Neva people. But out, like, the Nevada people is gonna be like Mad Max. Got it. Know? Like, and what about the Californians? I think it's yeah. gonna flip. What about us? <laughs> really? Yeah. So San Francisco's Mad Max. Yo, yeah, I think it's gonna yeah. flip. Everyone in Nevada's gonna be like, oh, cool. I don't see anybody. Like, you know, I've got a yard mm. and space. And yeah. People in Silicon Valley will be like. I think someone's shitting in my fucking bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. If they're still living there, like, you know and there's, there's people shitting like oh, on their roof true. right now. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, I still live here, motherfucker. That's true. Then how hard are we in Vegas, dude? Because honestly, in Vegas, like I, I chilled on my road rage a lot because I'm like everybody here is strapped. So I don't yeah. really want to. Uh, do you think? Do you think uh, the mole like, people are gonna crawl scared. out? I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I'm like, right. See? You know, there's like twenty thousand homeless folks in the tunnels under Vegas, yeah. right? So if fallout happens, they're all gonna crawl out. Nice. Or you stay there. Or they're like, oh, they're just like, all right, cool, we're good. <laughs> or they won't let you in, yeah. 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 Or they'll just open a casino. <laughs> oh, that'd be tight. I bet if they open an underground casino, it'd be, it'd be lit. That would be nice. <laughs> I bet they have one now. A hundred percent. They just don't take American currency. What do they take? Rat tails, <laughs> used hair. Is, is that what most people use? <laughs> Have you guys ever seen anyone win at the airport? My sister has. Has she really? Like, in a, she, she, I think she, she probably doesn't even remember because we were underage and she just went and pulled the thing. Like, my dad put the money in. Yeah. Um, I think she won like 50 bucks. But it was a slot machine. She just walked over and. But tried. like, the, there, are there jackpots at the airport? Like, where they're in there? Do you always wonder. You ever, if you win a jackpot at the airport, <laughs> you're the luckiest guy. Yeah, because you're like, I'm out. Dude, you're, yeah. Or you're yeah. in. Like, <laughs> or imagine you're feeding it, dude. You're feeding that one machine. Yeah. Like, oh, I would miss a flight for that. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Or you keep going back to the airport because like that machine's gonna hit. <laughs> oh, it's been running cold. Right. It's gonna hit. I've been doing this for two years. <laughs> you're going to Vegas today. Are you gonna cool. gamble? Do you play? Straight from here. No, nah, just blackjack sometimes. I don't gamble too much with buddies. If we all go play, I'll play. Lose all my money. Do you, are you an advantage player? I see. Like I don't even know what the fuck that means. Okay. <laughs> that, yeah, they they want your business. They, like, yeah. they love you. Yeah, but I like I don't play anything but blackjack if I ever go to Vegas because oh. it's really the only game I know how to play. Like I don't I don't have. Sure, play you're not poker. an advantage player. Oh, we gotta play craps then, cause as a group, yes. if yeah. you're a social player, that game is fun. They got me into it. Like I go and be like, okay, here's the money I'm gonna spend. Here's the money I'm gonna lose. That's my good time. You don't go. Oh, I need to make it. I need to get it back. I need to get it back. That's, Other things. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do. Yeah. To, you know. Well, I don't like gambling. I gamble with these guys, and I saw how much money they're throwing on the table. That's Bart. Dude, it was it was everybody. <laughs> It was Joe. Yeah, Joe was like another hundred. No, Bart. Bart is a madman. I didn't realize. Bart will oh, really? hover over the table with like a five hundred dollar chip, and he'll watch the roller, and he'll just drop it before the roll, just because he has a feeling about it. <laughs> are you, sure? Like, no, are you sure people just aren't scared of him because he's standing there like this, and he's like <laughs> looking at the guy, he's like. Are you gonna do it? And his muscles are just really. Bad. Yeah, that could be. He's like roll it, roll it, roll it. He's like roll seven. Yeah, but he drops it, and then they wipe yeah. it. He's got his barbell gay T-shirt. He's like, you gonna roll it? You're I gonna don't. Roll it? You gonna roll yeah. it? The funniest thing is, I remember how you guys were saying like, oh man, it's just fun as a group. It's really fun. And then I remember watching. They put all this money. They lost it. And they went, well. <laughs> I was like. Yeah, that looks it's real fun. That was Circus Circus, though. We're never going back. Yeah. Oh, you went that to Circus Circus? It's a cursed land. We're Man, never going circus, back. Circus Circus.
We're never going. It's back. all the like, old sad souls. Yeah. That's like the outskirts, man. It's like when you drive in, you're like, oh shit, are people still alive in there? You're like driving. <laughs> but we had a good run yeah. at the Stratosphere. Yes, we we had we go to <laughs> shit casinos and have good runs. But not circus circus. We're done there. No. We're done. They won't get our business no. again. Too. You guys, you guys oh, gotta tell me the spots. Because we had to haggle them. The we had to fucking haggle them to open the table. Too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, open a fucking table. There's like, I got 16 people I brought here. Come on, how much? And this guy's like. I don't know. You guys seem like cheap passes to me. <laughs> oh. and I, was like, I was like, we're gonna play, baby. Did we're you show play. him the ring? You should have popped like, the ring. I was like, and bang. I was like Ace put, this, put this up. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> Haggle to get a table. Yeah, I, I, and then he opened it up, and we're out of there in nine minutes. <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> Cleaned <laughs> out. Oh, man. Shaking our fucking wallets out on the table. <laughs> Ridiculous. Inside out, man. I love it. Yeah, that's funny. So I guess if uh, you have no plan, dude, I don't have any plan. I have no plan. Last time some like something like this hit the fan, it was like COVID, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody was like freaking out. It was like early COVID when everyone was like, oh my God, there's tanks rolling in. The, the, the country's being shut down. What's going to happen? I just get a text from fucking... From, from from Joe and he's like we need to gather our resources. <laughs> like I was like we're all neighbors, bro. And you know, he's like he's like if if anything shit hits the fan, we all meet up together. I've never honestly felt more safe in my life. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Like I was like, bro, Joe's got this figured out. Dude. I didn't even think about yeah, this. Yeah, there's shit. like I had like <laughs> three months of survival. I was like, you guys could come over my my place. I had a three bedroom home at the time. I was living alone. And then I was a day. I had him and my other buddy that was a couple blocks and away, David and too. David. Yeah. So I was like, just come here, and that's it. I was like, between all of us, it'll be great. David's learning how to grow tomatoes, dude. He won't shut up about it. <laughs> he could be the he could be the cook because I don't. I won't trust him with a gun. He'll probably shoot one of us in the back <laughs> trying to hit somebody. Oh, dude, yeah. you always need a cook and you always need a medic. Yeah, Those yeah, are the yeah. two. Under we don't have a medic yet, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> dude, you're the medic. Dude, I'm, My other you, buddy, you work out. useless. He's a jeweler. Oh, he's a jeweler. Yeah. yeah. He would. Well, maybe he wouldn't be because then he had gold. The jeweler. Oh, shit, yeah. You don't need a jeweler. The first thing that happens to him is he gets completely cleaned out. And <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're a bigger target because he's a jeweler. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, please. I strike. can fight you with my hands, but if you have a gun, oh shit. You're like, you see all these diamonds? Hardest material on earth. I'll fuck you up. He's like, what do you mean, knives, dude? You can't use knives on me. What's up? You see oh no, don't punch me with those rings. Like, <laughs> like put your hands in the air, motherfucker. Nick's the, Nick's the fighter. He's the guard, the house guard. I'll throw a little ass, dude. That's I'll throw a little ass up. Just yeah. you and your pups. Yeah, yeah. dude. Just our, our two pug guard yeah. dogs. <laughs> they're like this big. <laughs> don't make fun of my dogs, dude. I'm not. I'm Wait, saying don't you have like eight pugs right now? Oh, yeah. We, you we just, now. now we have two at the house. Oh, they they were giving away? Are you, guys, oh, this are you breeders? <laughs> Might be. <dude. laughs> Hell yeah, dude. No, we can get this. So we found a pug on the street. My mother-in-law did. And it turned out to be pregnant. So we found one pug. We found one female pug. We brought it in. Turned out to have eight babies. And then now we have fucking 11 dogs in the house. Holy but what wow. were the odds, right? Because then that means You're daddy pug. Right. Daddy yeah. daddy was a pug You're too. When, when, that, when that pug <laughs> gave birth, we were like, this is going to be like mixed with pit or something. Yeah. Like, no way Straight it's going to be a pug. Did you find the pug in your mailbox? <laughs> <laughs> oh, in the in the box that order? Yeah. I have a question. Because like now that I'm, yeah. I'm, thinking, I'm thinking about a pregnant pug, is it, are like... It was it not visible? That it wasn't like, visible. And then, yeah. then it became visible. Or no? Well, and then the, the, the chi chi started sagging, right? Yeah, and then yeah. you're like, "What's going on?" And we were denial all the time. Like, no way, no way. <laughs> I mean, the medical like, terms, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. I know your dad's a doctor, but yeah, like, yeah, I no, watch Grey's Anatomy. You know, I had to go through all the you know vernacular. And I was like, "All right, we got, we're there, we're there." Yeah. But then it turned right, out to be pregnant. Saggy chi chi, saggy chi chi, <laughs> saggy chi, -chi. Yeah. like that. So yeah, now we have fucking eleven dogs in the house. That's great. It's a good time. Eleven? Yeah. Can you name them all? How much does your like, purebred go for? One hundred and one dollars. Hey man, uh, let's talk off Wait, camera. Oh, 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 <laughs> let's talk off that. camera. Cash. I pay cash. Yo, getting the DMs for the do pugs. Take, do you take Super Bowl rings? <laughs> I hey, might that, now. That, that, that was pretty. They had ten fucking pups. Dude, you should. Train. I didn't know pugs could have so many and goddamn the, pups. The, the pup is like this big. Was there a run? Thing? Yeah, we got the run. We got the. Oh, you took the run. So you got the Charlotte's Web. What does that mean? Like the pig. Charlotte's, what was her memory in Charlotte's Web? The pig? Oh, was the run. Yeah. She was the- Babe? Was no, not babe. Did? No, like you- Tem Templeton? Right Templeton? Oh, yeah. yeah. I was, honestly, everyone kept saying like, when the puppies gave birth, they're like, you better watch out. Better make sure none of them die. And yeah. I was like, what? That but that happens though, right? I know, but yeah, apparently it happens all the time. Yeah. But we, we, all of them were all good. So we're- Are you bottle feeding pugs over there? We, no, not, not really. We had, we, we had a little glass saucer. 
A little saucer with milk in there. That's cute. I got baby formula. I was making that up this morning. <laughs> Wait, so you're giving, you're giving the pug Similac? I don't even know what that's baby formula. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should just train your pugs to like do stuff for you. Like during, Dude, trying to do train them to sit they're is like a pain in the ass. They just shit and piss pug. everywhere? Kind of, but they're cute though. They're, little they're, they're like this yeah, big, right? Are like this big, dude. That's crazy. Aren't you supposed to wait like uh, <laughs> three weeks or some shit until you give them away? Because they have they need titty weeks. milk? They're eight weeks oh. now. Wow. Nine weeks. Are you going to give them away? We gave some away. Did you give them away? <laughs> for, a, for a little price? Yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Donation. For donations. Yeah. We're getting a fucking we're barcode getting, on the dog. We're getting in dicey territory. <laughs> I can't wait till next month when you find another pregnant fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, Nick, when are you going to get a grill, dude? Oh, when did you get a Rolex? <laughs> <laughs> Nick's like, yeah. Nick's like, it's so weird. We had to anyway. We had to buy office space. <laughs> when'd you, when'd you get it's a LOC, Pug? dude? When'd you get a Rolls Royce Phantom? <laughs> I'm in the pug business, baby. SUV. <laughs> <laughs>